Hello, my name is Alex Roberts and today I'm going to show you how to use and care for 3D printers. Before you start printing, you have to have an awesome design. So, there are many computer-aided design softwares out there to accomplish making your design. I personally use a cloud-based solution called Tinkercad, which I'm going to show off right now. This is my little abode of designs and I got a lot of cool things going on in here but today I want to show you this gnome. Now whenever you open up a design you're going to be greeted with a work plane. This work plane is where you will put your designs and design the different aspects of them all within this 10 by 10 square. So to your left, you have a few different things that you can control. First off, you've got this little box. This changes your perspective of your design. This will take you home, so it'll center you on your design. This will fit your design in the view. This zooms out, this zooms in, and this will change your view. As you can see, I've already put this design together with a hodgepodge of several other designs. Tinkercad comes with a wealth of awesome designs to use to make your own unique designs. To build your own completely from scratch, simply grab some of the basic shapes here and start building away. If I wanted to, I could take this, this square and I could put the cylinder in it and turn that cylinder into a hole. Now, if I group the objects together, now there's a hole in it. And whenever it prints, it will print in the shape of a it'll print in the shape of a square with a circle in the middle of it. Pretty cool, right? I know. It's awesome. So to export something, once you've created your design, simply go up to the right here and press export. It's very important that you print in either .obj or .stl because those are the formats that your printer will ultimately understand. So once you're finished creating your design, most likely your 3D printer will come with pre-built software. I'm going to show you that next. Cura is a software prepackaged with the Lulzbot Taz 6, a very sophisticated printer that the New Media Writing Studio uses to make really cool designs. So as you can see on your screen, I have a few designs already put together. What this is, it's just a little gnome, and I have multiplied it so that we can print it in a batch process. Really, Cura is very intuitive to use. In easy mode, because there are two modes, easy and advanced, you only have a few things that you need to choose from to get your print going. So first off, if you've used Tinkercad, like I suggested you did, you go up to File, you hit Load Model File, and find your model and you'll load it. From there, printing is easy as one, two, three. You pick out what material you're going to use and the speed at which you want it to go, and you either put a G code on a SD card or you go up to file and you hit print if you're connected directly to your 3D printer. Let me show you a few of the aspects of this interface. Material ease of use. This gives you several different drop downs that show you all of the different experience levels that 3D printers have. First runs tend to be really uh, cheap materials that are easy to find, but not necessarily of the highest quality. Beginner is what we use. Although it isn't as robust as something like stainless steel, it's still a good solution to creating an awesome design that will last you a long time. We use PLA up here at the studio, and many of you will probably end up using PLA as your first material. Then we have a selection of speeds. Standard, which is a general rate developed by the computer based on the complexity of your design. 
high speed, which is half of the standard rate, and high detail, which is two times the standard rate. And that's really it. Most of Cura is very intuitive, and if you need any help looking into it, simply go online and look up Lulzbot. It'll show you all the things you need to know. Next up, I'm going to show you what the 3D printer looks like in action. And after about four hours of printing, this is what you get. Pretty cool, isn't it? If you'd like to see more about 3D printing, just follow us at newmedia.tcu.edu. Thank you.